Hello and welcome back to Civil Debbie. This is episode 54 of my Dire Wolf 20 on that 18 Let's Play. Today, we're going to be finishing up our Crimson Altar. I have prepared an area for us for the altar in the nether, and I have all of the necessary ingredients and a couple of gold nuggets. Um, I had to uh, go find some cobwebs for a project that I'm going to work on, and I brought some gold ingots, and I made this glyph of hell, because I want to play with that. I want to see if it's better than my, my axe, and if it is, I won't have to carry around my axe anymore, and it'll be great. Uh, so, ooh. Another portal. Let's go check this out. Uh, now it looks messy. Don't judge. <laughs> it's just I replaced the floor with cobble uh, so I would feel more comfortable building and standing on it. Uh, oh, look, you can see the ghost blocks there. Let me get ready for a battle. Gotta bag the cube over here. Ah, missed him. Don't like that fire there. Whoa. Was that like a a silver fish? Where the heck did a silver fish get in here? Ah! Go away! Oh, great. Now there's another one. Oh, here's another one. Okay. I think, I think we're safe. Maybe. Maybe. There, there are some piglins up there. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. Okay, so, um, what we need to do here, let's get a book. Soulbound. Um, need to oh i had to use modify my shears to get the cobweb i'm not sure if it was necessary to add the extract to it to get the silk touch uh but i did uh, so that's how i got that the cobwebs just want to these guys out. I gotta be careful because uh, the floor being underneath it. Oh, uh, some nether bricks face down. Quick zoink. Um, not sure if that's the right. Rips and altar. Is that? Is it? Oh, I think it was red nether brick, and I put in nether wart. So uh -oh. I need to need to go get some more of that. Yikes! Okay, so I need to place these guys down. Ooh, and I made the golden net bricks. And, uh oh. I heard you come on over. 
I'm going to have to get sharpness on this thing because it's getting pretty nasty. It one shots the dogs. Okay, so we need those four and the altar. Man, I can't believe that I needed. Um, Red nether brick instead of the word blocks. I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. Uh, but that's okay because we have the nether brick. I guess I could have just gone to the nether fortress and mine some real quick. It'll be okay. I think you just combine these together. Let's just. Throw these in there. Awesome. Um, I have been doing a little bit of off camera work. work to my mage tower. Um, I'm thinking about changing out the arcane stone and replacing it with some of the crimson stuff because it just doesn't match. This is purple-ish, but it just doesn't match the arcane stone, and I don't like it so. But I have to get rid of one of them, and and I really want to be able to. Ah, no. Oh boy. Oh, he's like giant. Oh boy. Um, oh my goodness, there's another giant one. Are they like coming out of that? Ah! I want to change my, uh, my sword to it knock back and snares them. <laughs> That's why I needed the cobweb so I could get snare. Ah! Scared me. Where are these guys coming from? Okay. okay, I think if the coast is clear, man. Okay, let me go sleep so I can get out of this mess. Should have done that first. The rain started a little bit like, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Okay, let's try going up. Ha <laughs> ha. When ready. Oh my god. Oh! What the heck? Why did all the silver Did they explode out of his body or something? Because that's kind of gross. I think there's a special guy over here. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Take that, buddy. Ah! Oh, oh, creeper. Ah! No, 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 no. Don't knock him over here by me. Okay. Woo. Let's get out of here before something else happens. Woo. Uh, don't look over there. Don't. Stop it. All right. All right. Let's... There's that piglin over there. Okay. Yeah, 
mine. I don't want to step on those. And a boot. All we gotta do, I think we just place the natural altar. Yes. And it turned into the crimson altar. Oh, look at that. Sucking in all the stuff. Okay. Let's get some gold on there so I can get the uh, doodad that I need. Um, whoa, we unlocked new chapters too. <laughs> This is a pretty cool mod. I just want to get a couple of these while I'm in here. No telling, you know, if this area is going to be safe next time I come in here. Oh, wait. Awesome. So we got crimps and altars set up. Let's get out of here. It's scary. <laughs> Okay, we got the, what, what is it called, the painted gold ingot, and I believe what we have to do is come over here to the offering table, is that what we needed to do with it? Um, let's see, we needed this, and we needed the ingot of the skies, which... Oh, we can, oh, we needed the spirit of calling, and that's what we need that for. Oh, I forgot we needed some, get the bottle ghost. I might need to go back. I think it's just the cork, the cork and bottle in the nether. Yes, okay, so we got a bottle ghost, and I think it was bottled some light. Uh, Bottle port, bottled sunlight, a diamond, and an infused ingot, and a diamond. So we need to get a diamond. I can do that. I went mining in between episodes, and I got a lot of diamonds. Uh, I also had to go trade with the villagers because I was out of emeralds, and I wanted to make this... Uh, tier three upgrade and it took a block of emeralds and I didn't have enough for it so uh, I had to go I went over here and was checking this out but there were just like a cartographer and a computer guy and so that didn't work out there were there was a farmer but he didn't have very good trades, so I went to this town, and and it had a lot more villagers. It actually had a Fletcher, so I traded some sticks, and I ran him out. He, he won't trade with me for sticks anymore. And plus, they have this pneumatic house. I didn't loot it. I just left it alone so I could get that on camera. Uh, but, yeah, I got I got some emeralds with that. So that was pretty okay. Um, and I did a lot of mining. A lot. Uh, oh, this won't stack. So I got to put those in. Oh, get three of them too. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. We got the leech. All right. Oh, okay. Do we gotta do with this stuff again? Okay, offering to the gods. We to we we'll use a tainted gold ingot. We can get two ingots of the sky, which we might want to do since these spirits of calling take a diamond and other stuff to make. So we might want to get the most out of it. So we need a spirit of calling and a tainted gold ingot. I don't know how to do this. Um, I wonder, oh, now that we got this, I wonder if there's more information 
about this sneak to be preparing the offering to the gods any type of flower can be used oh we gotta have three six nine twelve flowers there and then three six nine twelve so 24 so we need like 36 flowers uh I wonder if it has to all be the same flower. Um, let's go ahead and mine this up so we can think. Boy, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, what about here? Put my hits on that. Man, this is too big. Wonder if this will work. Let's put it there might have to replace those with dirt <laughs> so let me get some blocks out um actually i could probably change and get but this would probably be a lot faster That should be all I need. We'll have to get rid of this guy. Maybe if I that put another bush there. <laughs> uh, and I can reroute our pathway over here to go this way instead. So why don't I do that? And I'll fix the pathway later. So this will work. Um, all right, let's place down our offering table. I just, I think I have enough of those corn blue flowers, maybe. Yes. Okay. So I think I said 36. 36. No problem. Yep. Because uh, it has 37 on our little bar up at the top there on the progress. We've already laid down the, uh, the offering table. So my math is correct. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Woo, completed. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's get our little book back out of here. We already created the offering table. Creating, asking for, and you get a, okay, it says this. Maybe I have to put the spirit of calling in and then throw the ingot on top. Okay, 
Okay, that just sucked it right back out. So, sweet. All right. This is crazy. How do I get it to work? It doesn't say, uh, it doesn't say anything which opens our Okay, so maybe we put the tainted gold painted in. Then this this is very uh I don't know. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Um, there, we did it! Woo! We got the ingot of the sky. I was stuck because there's like no instruction on how to handle that. Okay, I'm gonna take... And if I just throw that on the ground, okay, now we got our ingot of the sky. We can get all our stuff ready to do this ritual. So let's go do that. Okay, so we don't need these anymore. We only need one of those. Need the ingot of the sky. Ruin stand. This and this. We need jungle sapling. Everything. Uh, the infused rock and a gold leaf. It's the infused rock. And I seriously need some more food. Badly, badly. Oh, 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 oh. Forgot. We got 16 of the powder. Okay, I'm glad I remembered that before I got all the way over there. So that would be this bad. Uh, now, I have no idea how I use this thing once I get it. I think it's somehow going to be used in the altar. So maybe it's kind of like the Botania thing where you have to put it underneath uh, the altar to get this stuff. I'm not 100% certain. Jungle sapling. And there we go. Oh yeah! Also, I have the levels. I couldn't do the uh, lift that I wanted because I needed the cobwebs and I needed a few levels. There, just took all our items. I think this here. I don't remember it being there. Um. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, we got it. Uh, maybe it'll have something in the book now. Alter of the birthing, the transmutation catalyst. 
Okay, we already did this. The natural altar can be useful for infusing certain items of the power core. However, it can also assist in transmuting items from one type into another. This can be achieved by creating the transmutation catalyst and placing it on top of any of the four lower golden stone brick blocks around the altar and placing the ingredient on the altar as usual. Oh, okay. So we just place it here and oh let's go get our quartz um i think we need so i should be able to place this on there it's working it's working ah. yes we have chris marine um now is there any way to duplicate this uh Like uh Mr. Smithing, mechanical squeezer, altar. Oh, you could do altar of birthing. I guess I don't really know how that works. So maybe I have to do some more reading on this. I don't see that you can duplicate it, but we can get quartz so we can turn quartz into this now we needed these two prismarine shards we did all this work just to get these two prismarine shards to upgrade our dimensional cells um i think it was supposed to be in this one uh, do, 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 do. nope we need this one uh, so we need 36 redstone. Oh, we need the machine brain too. Okay, uh, I must have stolen the machine brain out of it. <laughs> okay, uh, machine brain. Four iron, two gold nuggets, and two blue dye. <laughs> so if I just do that and make. Oh, there it is. I what i was thinking and here we go dimensional cell oh we're gonna need another one of these that's right because we need two of them but i can do that off camera so yeah <laughs> it's almost time so just to wrap it up i want to come over here and make this glyph to to get snare uh, because that would help me a lot, I think, uh, to couple that with the, the knockback on my sword, and then they then they get snared, and they can't come get me. So uh, that's very, very good. And here's the snare. I'm going to select. Oh, and check that out. It just pulls it uh, right from an adjacent inventory. I did not know that. Uh until I did this uh, glyph of fell and it pulled something, it pulled the essence right out of his chest. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> so let's read these. We got snare and fell. Yes. <laughs> so we can get rid of those there. 
and that point. And I wanted to put the upgrade range tier on there because I want to make sure that I'm talking to you about getting that upgrade. Um, it was it was a lot of lapis, but this one, you know, it wasn't so bad. It was just a couple of emeralds and some lapis, and this one was a couple of diamonds and lapis. And then you had to have uh, the blank upgrade module, but it wasn't it wasn't that bad. I did have to go do the villager trading though to get it done. Um, also, I. Uh, Let's just quickly go home so I can get over here because I also did some work on the machines for processing. Let me go ahead and sleep. Oh, yeah, there's so much I need to talk about. Uh, I got a few upgrades. I put all three auxiliary processing sieves because it seemed to help uh, when I was smelting the board. It seemed like I got two a lot more often than I got one, so that was good. And I put two speed upgrades in this. I don't really know that I need the two speed upgrades because this one's a lot slower. Uh, so, uh, but I figured I did need a speed upgrade just because this will produce more than just one. Also, on our magmatic dynamos, I gave those a little upgrade with the hardened integral, 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 yeah, the components. Um, that didn't sound good. Uh, but I got one for all three of them, and now we're producing, well, it's a max of 80 RF a tick. Uh, so that's 240 RF. But if I upgrade it anymore, I'm going to need better cable. Uh, so I, <laughs> I wanted to do some basic universal cables for a mechanism because it does 3.2 thousand fe a tick so that would be a good cable to get and it's pretty cheap with just steel and a redstone for eight uh, so i wanted to go ahead and get into uh making steel with the blast furnace so uh i need to get into immersive engineering and I also want to make a water wheel. I got a little building over there to get it uh, to house some more stuff. So, you know when you get a water wheel you always got a little building there going on so uh, yeah that's in my future. There's something else I need to talk about. I had to Let's go straight to the iron level. I had to replace my super factory manager stuff with the laser IO because for some reason it just stopped working. It wouldn't pull anything out of the chest. I redid everything uh, that I could. I reset the program. Uh, reloaded it multiple times and nothing I did could get it to work again. So I just uh, made five nodes and some cards. It was really super easy to set up. I didn't have to put any filters on it because the blocks basically filter themselves. Like the filters built in here uh, on the trash can. So I don't need a filter there. I just need an insert card. And the same for this one. I don't need a filter because it won't accept any items that uh, aren't in the, the drawers. So I got that all fixed up. Um, I really wanted to put glass 
in here, but I've had some instances where uh, special mobs spawn like skeletons who shoot explosive arrows. So I've actually had uh, come in and had the walls uh, gone in the front uh, and mobs on the loose. So yeah, I had to double up on the front here to help prevent them from actually getting loose. <laughs> so that's what I was doing with that. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I've gone over now in the time. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.